The Smart 3 Plus and the S4 are two of the most recent launches from Infinix in the sub 10,000 rupee price segment. Now, the Smart 3 Plus had a triple rear camera setup, which is not too common in this price bracket, and the Infinix S4 had beautiful design. Now, Infinix has launched a new phone in this price segment. It's called the Hot 7 Pro. Now, what's the unique selling point? It's the fact that this phone has 6 GB of RAM. Yes, that's correct. This phone has 6 GB of RAM in the sub 10,000 rupee price segment. So, is that good enough for great performance, or are you better off buying phones that are the competition? We review to find out. Now, before you watch this video, I'd request you to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notifications whenever we are on air. Infinix Hot 7 Pro has a simple design. It sports a 6.19 inch HD plus display with a traditional wide notch at the front. This looks a little dated considering that many smartphones these days have smaller water drop notches, though it's understandable for the budget segment. Infinix has opted for the shape to accommodate dual selfie cameras and a selfie flash. The earpiece is wedged between the display and the frame. The borders on the sides of the screen are not too big, but the bottom chin is. Pick the phone up and you'll feel that the rounded edges and sides make it comfortable to hold. You'll also notice that the power and volume buttons are on the right side, while the SIM tray is on the left. Infinix has used a textured power button which is easy to distinguish from the volume buttons by touch. We found the volume buttons to be positioned a little too high, needing a stretch to reach. The Infinix Hot 7 Pro has a micro USB port at the bottom along with a 3.5mm headphone jack and loudspeaker grille. The top is completely blank. The highlight of the Infinix Hot 7 Pro is that it packs in 6GB of RAM in this price segment. It's powered by the MediaTek Helio P22 chip which is a relatively low-end option for a phone at this price. You get 64GB of internal storage plus the ability to expand it using a micro SD card. The Hot 7 Pro ships with XOS 5 on top of Android 9 Pie. We found some pre-installed bloatware including Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, Flipkart, Opera News and PHX browser. Infinix has also bundled two alternative app stores, Palm Store and AHA Games for apps and games respectively. Both these apps are updated independently and not through the Google Play Store. This could be a security concern. We found a few of these apps to be spammy and they kept pushing notifications every other hour. The UI has a few features added on top of stock Android. It has Game Boost, which claims to boost CPU performance, clear up RAM and block incoming notifications while gaming. WhatsApp mode allows only the messaging app to access mobile data while blocking other apps. This could be helpful if you are roaming or on a strict data plan. There is a bike mode as well, which when enabled, rejects all incoming calls and auto replies with a text. XOS also has a freezer, which freezes apps to prevent them from running in the background. The Hot 7 Pro also has an AI box feature which clubs potentially spammy notifications so you don't have to deal with clutter. It also has a smart panel which has app action shortcuts similar to the one seen on Samsung smartphones and this can be accessed from anywhere. Yes, the Infinix Hot 7 Pro does get 6GB of RAM but due to the Helio P22 chip, its performance is quite similar to the Infinix S4. Apps don't load much faster but more RAM does help keep apps in the background for longer. The rear-mounted fingerprint scanner as well as the face recognition feature are quick to unlock the smartphone. We found that the face recognition feature did not work properly in the dark. There is an option to use a front flash but this can be blinding at night. We played PUBG Mobile which defaulted to the low preset with graphics set to smooth and the frame rate set to medium. We did notice occasional stutters when playing the game but it was marginally better than the Infinix S4. Now we played PUBG Mobile for around 20 minutes and noticed a 5% battery drop. The phone was warm to the touch even when we were playing in an air-conditioned room. The Hot 7 Pro packs in a 4000mAh battery and delivers good battery life. With our usage which consisted of an active WhatsApp account, running a few benchmarks, taking camera samples and using Google Maps for navigation, we ended the day with 45% battery left on the device. In our HD video loop test, the smartphone managed to clock 15 hours and 10 minutes. Infinix has opted for dual cameras on the back as well as the front of this phone. Both setups have a 13 megapixel primary sensor and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. The primary rear camera has an f1.8 aperture while the one in the front has f2.0 aperture. The camera app has quick toggles for HDR and flash. It also has modes such as beauty, bokeh, video and AR shot. Photos taken with the Infinix Hot 7 Pro were below average. Most of the shots we took during the day were overexposed. When shooting against the light, we observed chromatic aberration in a few of our samples. HDR does very little to help with this issue and shots taken with HDR were still slightly overexposed. 
Macros taken with the Hot 7 Pro were decent, but we needed to tap the screen a few times to get this phone to focus when we wanted it to. Portraits taken using the bokeh mode showed decent edge detection, but we could set the level of blur as well before taking a shot. The bokeh effect isn't consistent though, and the phone fails to apply blur on the gaps between hands and the body, for example. Low light shots were relatively good, and the phone managed to keep noise under control. The Infinix Hot 7 Pro takes time to lock focus at night, so you will need to be patient for a sharp shot. Selfies were acceptable, but the backgrounds were overexposed when we shot outdoors. Video recording maxes out at 1080p for the primary as well as the selfie cameras, and this phone lacks video stabilization. This results in shaky videos. The phone was also slow to focus while recording video in low light. The Infinix Hot 7 Pro has been marketed as a phone that costs less than 10,000 rupees with 6 GB of RAM. While it's the only new phone in this price segment to sport this much RAM, the processor is really weak. You're going to be waiting for apps to load a lot of the time and you only get a small advantage while multitasking. I think the Infinix Hot 7 Pro's camera needs a few tweaks because photos are not great even in daylight. Now the Infinix Hot 7 Pro does have 6GB of RAM but overall it's a pretty average phone. You'll be better off buying competitions such as the Asus Zenfone Max Pro M2, Realme 3 or even the Redmi Note 7. Thanks for watching this video and for all things tech, check out Gadgets360.com.